welcome to your fall and winter episode of Come Out and Play. I'm your host, Angie Hall. Well, the air is beginning to get cooler and fall is just around the corner. The Buncombe County Library Recreation and Culture Department and the Black Mountain Recreation and Parks Department have some wonderful events and programs coming up for the entire family. So first we'll start off here in Buncombe County and then we'll turn it over to Cindy and Black Mountain to hear about their programs and events. But before we get things going, did you happen to notice our new department name? Well, in July of this year, the North Carolina General Assembly authorized Buncombe County to create the state's first own Culture and Recreation Authority. Buncombe County Parks, Greenways, and Recreation Services have now merged with the library system to become the Buncombe County Library, Recreation, and Culture Department. This new authority will manage and operate libraries, parks, greenways, recreation facilities, and the cultural organizations in Buncombe County. We are now located at 67 Haywood Street in downtown Asheville. That's the PAC Library location. You can still reach us at the same email address, parks at buncombecounty.org, or call us at 828-250-4260. Do you have questions about your health, but not a regular doctor to ask? Then come out and walk with the doctor. This is your chance to speak with the doctor about your health concerns in an informal, relaxing way. Walkers will enjoy a refreshing walk with Dr. Yu Quan Chan, resident doctor at Mayheck of Asheville. Walk with the Doc is Saturday, October 5th from 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. at the Hominy Creek River Park. The park is located at 194 Hominy Creek Road along the French Broad River Greenway. So come on out and take advantage of the opportunity to learn more about a particular health topic or how you can improve your health. All right, it's that time again for the Fast and Furious Dodgeball. The Adult League Dodgeball games will begin on January 7th and run through February 25th. Sign-ups start October 1st and end on December 17th, or when eight teams have signed up. Teams consist of six players, which can be all males, all females, or co-ed teams. Games will be played at the UNC Asheville Justice Center on Tuesday evenings from 6.15 until 9.15 p.m. The season consists of seven games, each lasting up to five minutes per game each week for a total of 49 games. A round-robin tournament for all teams will also be played. The winning team will receive a plaque to commemorate their accomplishment. The cost is $225 for a team of six or $40 per person. Well, the fall season of Adult League Kickball is well underway. But if you missed your opportunity to play then, we have another one coming up for you. The Buncombe County Sports Park will host its first Fall Brawl Kickball Classic Tournament on Saturday, October 19th. This is an all-day event starting at 9 a.m. and ending at 6 p.m. Registration begins on October 1st and the cost is $100 per nine-player team. The entry fee includes the team t-shirt and all proceeds benefit Buncombe County Special Olympics. The winning team will receive a first place medal for each player. We probably don't put a lot of thought into it, but kites have been used for thousands of years to enjoy and delight its flyers and the onlookers. A kite's designs have ranged from simple to the most intricate and dramatic of design. Kites have also had very practical uses that provide scientific information, light and satellite beacons, military applications, and human flight. Come to the Buncombe County Sports Park on Sunday, October 13th to celebrate World Kite Day by flying a kite. The event will be from 1 to 4 o'clock, so bring your favorite kite or come to watch. If you don't have your own kite to fly, don't worry, we can provide you with one. To reserve yours today, just give us a call at 828-250-4269. We're going to take a short break, but when we return, we're going to tell you about a fun and spectacular event. Okay, I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, Max? I'll be back. How long does it take for your pet to die from heat stroke? The temperature in your car can be 120 degrees in just 10 minutes. What an avoidable, senseless tragedy. No one whose pet has died thought it would ever happen to them. Do you really want to take a chance with your pet's life? A reminder from the Animal Coalition of Buncombe County.
Lake Julian Park offers an array of fun activities and special events for friends and families throughout the year. You can rent a paddle boat, canoe, or john boat to take out on the water. You can also bring your own private craft, including your fishing boat with electric motors, canoe, kayak, or sailboat to their boat launch. Lake Julian also features many popular annual events, like the kids' fishing tournaments, the 4th of July fireworks display, a horseshoe tournament for all ages, and the beautiful Festival of Lights display. The park also offers picturesque family picnic areas, a fun playground for the kiddies, and a beach volleyball court. If you're an avid angler, grab your rod and reel because Lake Julian is quite the catch. There are many species of fish ready to be caught on Lake Julian, including catfish, bass, and even tilapia. Did you know Lake Julian is also the perfect place to have a family reunion or company retreat? With six picnic pavilions of various sizes, complete with tables that can accommodate 35 to 75 people, grills, and clean restrooms. You can rent them throughout the year for your next stress-free retreat. The park is open during daylight hours seven days a week and is located at 406 Overlook Extension, Arden. For more information about Lake Julian, visit buncombecounty.org slash parks. My name is Dave Ligotti. I'm a jazz singer. I play in venues in the Asheville area here now. After the ordinance was mandated to have non-smoking venues, my health has definitely improved. My voice range has increased. I even had positive comments from smokers who admitted that although they smoked cigarettes, they still didn't like sitting in a room that was just emanating with cigarette smoke. It's very wonderful to play in a smoke-free environment. Welcome back. Well, it's almost time to celebrate one of our favorite holidays, which is Halloween. Coming up at the Zoigner Center, it's time for our annual Haunted Lagoon. It's hard to believe, but it'll be our 12th season. So mark your calendars for October 26th from 1 to 4 p.m. Admission is only one can of food, which we will donate to Mana Food Bank. Be sure to arrive early, though, because our costume contest registration starts at 1.30. Contestants are divided into three age categories, two to four years, five to eight years, and nine years and older. Prizes will be awarded in each age group. First prize awards will be given in two categories, scary costumes and not so scary costumes. Face painting and crafts will be available from one o'clock until 3 p.m. For those who want to swim, the indoor pool will be open from two to 4 p.m. and it's only $2. Don't forget your swimsuit and remember to bring a bag to carry home all your goodies. For more information, call 828-684-5072. The Zoigner Center is located behind the T.C. Robertson High School. What is the only day of the year to have 25 hours? That would be the first Sunday in November when daylight savings ends and we turn our clocks back one hour. Celebrate the extra hour with a fun and healthy challenge. Come participate in the Turn Back the Clock 3K Walk Fun Run. The race starts and finishes at the beautiful Carpen Soccer Field, where you'll enjoy portions of the scenic mountains and Reams Creek. You'll enjoy relatively flat course and the camaraderie of others too. Rain or shine, you've got the time. The race will be Saturday, November 2nd from 9 to 11 a.m. at the Carpen Soccer Field located at 207 Reams Creek Road in Weaverville. The athletes of Special Olympics of Buncombe County are busy this fall with several competitions. On Saturday, October 26th, the Asheville Christian Academy in Swannanoa will host the State Bocce Tournament. Delegations from all over Western North Carolina will come to play singles, doubles, and teams in bocce. This is the fourth year Asheville Christian Academy will host this event. November 8th through the 10th, our soccer teams and golfers will travel to High Point, North Carolina to compete in the 2013 Fall Games. Over 930 athletes competed in these games last year. School's back in session. 
The weather is getting cooler and our outdoor pools have closed, but don't let that stop you from swimming. The indoor pool at the Zoigner Center is open and waiting for you. It is located at 90 Springside Drive in South Asheville. The Zoigner Center has an activity room available for rent by the hour. The indoor pool can also be reserved for private parties. Open swim is every Sunday from 1.30 to 5 p.m. for just $3 per person. Or you can purchase 10 visits for $20 or 25 visits for $40. Open lap swim is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8.30 to 10.30 a.m. and Tuesday and Thursday from 8.30 to 10 a.m. Cost is only $3.50 per day or $25 per month. Water exercise takes place on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10 to 11 a.m. for only $4 per class or $24 to $27 per month. Are you a bird lover? If so, listen up. We will be accepting the first 20 people who arrive for a morning of bird watching at the Beaver Lake Bird Sanctuary off of Merriman Avenue in North Asheville. This 10-acre sanctuary, managed by the Alicia Mitchell Audubon Society, attracts waterfowl, migrating species, and a nice array of breeding birds. We will meet at 8 a.m. on Saturday, October 12th in the parking lot of the sanctuary. This is a free event, so bring your binoculars and join us for a morning of birding. It may be a little early to be talking about Christmas, but you need to mark your calendars. The Lake Julian Park will turn into a wonderland for pedestrians on Wednesday, December 4th and Thursday, December 5th, as we present Walking in a Winter Wonderland. So come light up your holiday nights at the Festival of Lights. These first two nights will be for walkers only. Enjoy the holiday lights from a new perspective as you stroll along the brightly lit woods. Walkers will be serenaded with live holiday music. Take time to warm yourself by the fire and toast a couple of marshmallows with the kids. Gates are open from 6 to 8 p.m. Adult submission is $5 and children get in free. This is the 13th year for the annual spectacle. The drive through show begins on Friday, December 6th and is nightly from 6 to 9 p.m. through Monday, December 23rd. The park is brightly lit with thousands of colored lights and over 50 animated and stationary light displays. The road circling the park becomes a magical journey through tunnels of dazzling lights. The cost for the drive through presentation is $5 for a car, $10 for a van, and $25 for a motor coach. A portion of the proceeds from the Festival of Lights show benefit Special Olympics of Buncombe County. Lake Julian Park is located off of Long Shoals Road. We hope that you'll come out and see our beautiful show. We're going to take a short break, so stay with us. Hey kids, do you like to fish? Well then come on out to the kids fishing tournament at Lake Julian Park. You can fish all morning and then prizes will be given away for the biggest fish, the smallest fish, and the most fish caught. And if you're good at casting that line, you can compete with others to show off your skills. So parents, if you want your child to have a great Saturday morning filled with fishing and fun in the sun, then bring them to Lake Julian Park in South Asheville on Saturday, September 28th. The fun begins at 8.30 and lasts until 11.30, and the cost is only $5. Visit your local tailgate market and fall in love with the freshest, best tasting food around. Find your farmer at mountainmarkets.com. I'm Sheriff Van Duncan of Buncombe County. And I'm Chief William Anderson of the Asheville Police Department. You know the first 24 hours are critical when your pet goes missing. If you haven't seen your pet in 24 hours, act now by notifying the Buncombe County Animal Shelter and all other surrounding shelters. Search the area you last saw your pet and alert friends, neighbors, local businesses, and veterinarians. By acting now, your pet will be home much sooner. Report your lost pet to 828-250-6430. Welcome back. Now it's time to see what's happening in Black Mountain. Here's Cindy Kirkland with Black Mountain Recreation and Parks to tell us about their upcoming program and events. 
Hi, I'm Cindy Kirkland with Black Mountain Recreation and Parks. We've got a bunch of great activities planned for you this fall, so sit back, relax, and I'll tell you all about them. First up, we've got a beautiful bike ride along the Virginia Creeper Trail coming up on October the 17th. We'll head north to Damascus, Virginia, where we'll bike 17 miles along the beautiful Virginia Creeper Trail. Although the trip is mostly flat and downhill, you must be very comfortable on a bike. Bikes and helmet rental are included in the price. Unfortunately, we will not be able to accommodate shuttling personal bikes on this trip. We'll depart from the Lakeview Senior Center at 8 a.m. and return back about 6.30 p.m. So pack your lunch, some healthy snack, water, and drinks. The cost for this exciting trip with the bike rental is only $45 per person. Deadline to register for the bike ride is Monday, October the 14th. So give us a call here at the center, 669-8610. That's 669-8610. And hey, the town of Black Mountain Fire Department is having an open house and y'all are all invited. Come visit the fire department and let the little ones ride in a fire truck. Sparky the fire dog will be there and there will be plenty of activities and refreshments. So come on out on October the 13th from 2 to 4 p.m. and have a great time. The fire department is located on Montreat Road. And speaking of fun, it's that time of year again for our spooky mini monster fest. So bring the little ones dressed in their cutest or scariest costumes for a night of fun and games. We'll have a costume contest, hay rides, a juggler and magician, a bounce house, and some snacks. We'll end the evening with a screening of the movie Monsters, Inc. at 6.30. This event is appropriate for kids up to 10 years old. So come on out on Saturday, October the 26th from 5 to 8.30 p.m. It'll be at the Gray Eagle Arena on White Pine Drive here in Black Mountain. And best of all, it's free. Well, football season is finally here, so if you're a Carolina Panthers fan or an Atlanta Falcons fan, come on out and join us for this exciting game. We'll travel down to Charlotte and back in the same day. $85 covers your ticket and transportation. The fun begins on Sunday, November 3rd. We'll leave from the Carver Community Center at 8 a.m. and return that evening by 7 p.m. This trip is for all ages, but those under 18 must be accompanied by an adult. So to register for the game, give Colin a call at 669-2052. That's 669-2052. Over here at the Lakeview Center, we've got another great bicycle trip planned for you. This time to the Swamp Rabbit Trail. We'll head south to just outside of Greenville, South Carolina and ride 10 miles along the beautiful trail to Falls Park in downtown Greenville. And then return on the same path for a total of about 20 miles. Although the trip is mostly flat, you need to be comfortable on a bike. You can bring your lunch or we'll stop at a cafe and buy lunch. Leaving the Lakeview Center at 9 a.m. on Thursday, November the 7th, and we'll return about 5 o'clock that afternoon. Cost for this trip is only $20. If you have a bike that's in good condition, you're welcome to bring it or you can rent one for $30. Deadline for registration for this trip is November the 4th. So join us on October the 24th when we're going to take a tour of the Highlands Brewery. We will see how it's made and packaged and then we'll sample some fresh beer. We'll leave from the Lake Tomahawk parking lot and go to the brewery in East Asheville. Things you need to know for this trip. You must wear the safety glasses that they'll provide. Also, no open-toed shoes are allowed. Donations will be to the Mana Food Bank. Through these tours, Highland Brewery sponsors an opportunity to participate in the cash donation and or canned food donation for Mana Food Bank. If you enjoy the tour, please consider a $5 donation or any amount is gratefully accepted for our neighbors in need. A few dollars can feed a family. The Lakeview Senior Center is offering up a free Thanksgiving luncheon. We'll provide the turkey and beverages. We just ask to bring your favorite side to share with everybody. This free luncheon will be on Thursday, November the 21st from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Lakeview Senior Center. We also offer a hot catered meal each weekday for those over 60 years old. If you live in Black Mountain and surrounding areas, Mountain Mobility will provide free transportation to the center. To make reservations or arrange transportation, please call 828-669-2035. That's 828-669-2035. We're going shopping. <laughs> We're loading up the van and heading down to Charlotte. 
We'll make stops at Ikea and the Container Store. So come and get your holiday shopping done early or maybe finishing it. Hope to see you there. We'll depart from the Senior Center at 8 a.m. and return by 6 p.m. Lunch will be on your own at Ikea. The cost is only $10 per person for transportation. Deadline to register is Friday, November the 22nd. To reserve your spot, just give us a call at the center, 669-8610. That's 669-8610. Come celebrate the holidays with us here at Lake Tomahawk and join us for our special event, the Circle of Lights. We'll have Santa here for the kiddos, plus food, a hayride, a bonfire to keep us warm, and lots of holiday cheer. The Circle of Lights is on Saturday, December the 7th from 5 to 7 p.m., immediately following the Black Mountain Christmas Parade. And best of all, it's free. And join us for another special holiday van clan as we go down to Flat Rock Playhouse and see the musical production of Oh Holy Night. The Flat Rock Playhouse will host this new musical adaptation of the classic nativity story told through traditional and modern Christmas music. This is a Christmas event that will celebrate the reason for the season and is a must-see for anyone who loves the story and music of Christmas. The van will depart from the Lakeview Center at 1 o'clock and return by 5.30 p.m. on Thursday, December the 12th. Cost for the show and transportation is $40 per person, so give us a call by December the 6th to reserve your spot. And then join us for our first ever holiday line dance. So break out your holiday finery and put on your dancing shoes. No partner required. Our holiday line dance is going to take place on Friday, December the 13th from 7 to 10 p.m. Cost is only $5 per person. So give us a call. We hope to see you there. And don't forget our new line dancing class every Monday at 1030 that started in September. And our monthly birding outings. Every month we'll go on a different outing led by local birder James Poling. Birding days for the fall are October the 19th, November the 9th, December the 14th from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Again, check our website for the location of each outing. Also, our weekly hikes to a different area in beautiful western North Carolina. To reserve your spot for that, just give us a call here at the center, 669-8610. That's 669-8610. Well, that wraps up this episode of Come Out and Play. As always, we hope that you'll come out and take advantage of the wonderful programming offered by Buncombe County Library, Recreation and Culture Department and the Black Mountain Recreation and Parks Department. For more information, visit us online at buncombecounty.org slash parks and at blackmountainrec.com. We hope that you will remember that fall and winter is a great time to come out and play.